Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more CK2 Prince of Darkness playing as Serene Doge, Ilif, the Holy Unholy, whatever the heck, I don't even care anymore because frickin' Fatimids declared a jihad against me now to take over an entire kingdom. I'm about to lose all of my African holdings if I can't win this war, which considering he's a massive empire and I am not, Seems a little unlikely. Also, look how many people have lined up to join him, as opposed to the King of Castile, Hungary, Sicily, France, and the Knights Hospitaller. Not enough against this and all of his little buddies. Look at this. We're fighting all of his vassals. It's too freaking much. The Catholics have been pathetically weak in this entire game. I don't know what's going on with them. Why has the Holy Roman Empire not gotten involved in a crusade once? What about England? What about Scotland? Poland? Denmark? What the heck? It's dumb and I'm annoyed. So I have one saving grace before I just freaking zoom forward and it's like, you know what? Rather than make you wait through the next 20 videos, I'll just do this all now. I have one saving grace. I noticed as I was looking around, this guy is an imbecile. He's not going to be very liked by any of his vassals for it, which means there actually is a positive chance of being able to murder him. So that's what I'm going to shoot for now. We are going to invite people to the plot, and I'm going to try to murder him. I don't think it invalidates a jihad, but maybe it like throws the empire into chaos or something. I don't know. We'll give it a shot. See if it works. In the meantime, I'm taking a god-awful amount of attrition, which is just terrible. Are you unseaging my stuff for me? Sure looks like you are. Thank you, Hungary. At least you're doing something relatively useful. Can you guys deal with the army of the Emir? Because he's annoying me. And you're raiding again. The moment I say I'm not going to kill you... Come here. Come here. Come here! Gosh dang it, they can get on the boats way too fast! An orgy? Oh sure, this seems like the perfect opportunity. And somebody dies. My lover... No, a courtier. What did my lover do? I have no idea why she's involved in this, but some random courtier dies and I become frail? Oh, great. That's what I wanted to see, too. <sighs> this game, this game, this game, this game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get so freaking angry. My daughter becomes ambitious. I don't see a good reason for that. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm getting really annoyed with this campaign. This is one reason, by the way, I didn't really want to go into Africa, right? It's one place I could expand as Genoa, but I wasn't really eager to do that because of this exact reason. I'm making myself a prime target for every Muslim to come and kill me. But it takes so dang long to do anything in the Catholic world. It was the only way I could try blobbing and make the series uh, more interesting. It's just now it's costing me everything. All right. We're going to land you guys, let's say over here for now. Let's get some reinforcements relatively close by. I don't see any Muslims. I could try landing them on their tro land, uh, troops here. I'm not taking any attrition, thank God. Let's just siege some stuff down. Now I actually have some positive war score. Can I invite anyone else to the plot? Plot power. I can pay you. I will... I can't give you a gift? What? I can't send gifts to these people? I want to bribe them to kill their emperor! Let me do it! Send a gift. This one I can send. Okay, so she joins. Send a gift. He joins. Send a gift. You join. I can't... Oh, it's because we're in the middle of a war. He joined the Jihad. That's why. Random courtiers and stuff I should be able to bribe, but not them. Sure. This is one of the reasons we have money. So I can do things like this. I mean, okay... How much money am I making right now? None. I'm not making any money. <laughs> Even with a thousand yearly total, the levy upkeep is so high. That is so ridiculous. We can't afford the ships. And now I've become ugly. What is going on, game? Why do you feel like doing this to me? My lover has avoided me for some time to now. Time to re-seduce her? Sure, does that make me the master seducer? I'm hoping so. And here come some troops and reinforcements. Waited on the bed, waited on her bed wearing very little. She just sighed and went to sleep. Have I lost it? Well, I did become ugly. How do you spontaneously just become ugly, by the way? No, 
Nobody knows. All right, we're gonna try to kill the Emperor. If this works, great. I doubt that it invalidates the war, but I don't remember exactly the uh, mechanic differences between Jihad versus... Um... Oop. Yeah, you guys can kill yourself if you want. I don't remember the exact differences and requirements as far as Jihad versus a Crusade. You know, once you kill... I mean, the Pope declares Crusades. The Emperor here, the Fatimids, or a King, declares a Jihad. So maybe if we kill him, it invalidates the war. I don't know. We're going to have to give it a shot, though. More plot power, please. What are the odds I can improve this? You, send a gift, join. You, send a gift, join. Did I already bribe you? I don't remember anymore. Okay, they've joined. Sword by plot power. Can't bribe you. Did not bribe you. Alright. Spend some money. I need to end this war so I can stand down these guys. Aha! The, amp the carriage was sent flying over the edge of a cliff with the Caliph still in it. The driver I bribed has been dealt with. We managed to kill the Caliph. It worked. He's dead. But the war did not get invalidated. I could try killing you, but what does that do at this point? It does nothing. Nothing. Oh, God. I'm not going to surrender. I'm not going to do it. Um, tainted touch. It doesn't do it. That's the thing. It does nothing for me to just kill these guys. The jihad goes on forever. Guys, I don't want to keep doing this. I'm, I'm ready to be done with this series. I just wanted to conquer some land over here so I get a little bit larger and then go kill the Pope and be done with it. That's all I wanted. I do not want to fight all this. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just call it here. Um, and I don't mean like I'm going to end the video. I mean like I'm just going to call it. Assume that this is the best that I did and my kingdom is probably going to get lost. I'm going to lose every one of my African holdings because there's just there's nothing you can do. The Christian world has been pathetically weak. The Holy Roman Empire isn't getting involved in anything. There's just, there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to win wars, because I don't want to deal with this. Wait, what was the... Oh, crap, I need to look up the Consul Command. Hang on a second. You've got to be kidding me. I don't think that there is a Win Wars Consul Command. Okay. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open up this. I'm going to go to Neg, Diplo... Can send diplomatic proposals that will be refused. I'm going to do character info. I'm going to find this guy. I'm going to offer you a peace. Enforce demands. Send it even though it would technically have been refused. And then I'm going to... Wait, hang on. I'm going to... What's your character info? Play as 540286... I have received this. I'm going to accept your loss. Jihad over. Now I have to find my own character again. I know it's cheating. I know. Again, I, I, I just wanted to end this series. I didn't want to get stuck up in something, and I don't want to keep reloading the game and having to deal with all of that. So you know what? Cheat or not, this is how we're going to end things. I'm done with it. I'm freaking done with you. Okay. Um... Let's bring the troops back. We're going to have to stand down the levy. Uh, I'm going to fight the Pope. It's freaking time. Oh, what the heck happened here? He becomes a defender. He didn't even fight in a single battle. Chance of him gaining Marshall. He got two more Marshall. Okay. Good for this random guy. Why not? Let's just go home. Let's go kill the Pope. We're going to steal the freaking bones of St. Peter. Maybe I'll fight Pisa real quick. And I mean, has our truce expired with them? It's about to. 11.21. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll take over the rest here from Pisa, and I'll maybe even fight another war here. But I'm going to zoom forward for most of that, because it's just boring at this point. We've done everything we need to do. And no, I'm not going to see the realm freaking prosper. It's never going to happen. Search for women that I can seduce to make me feel better about myself. And being a scum, scum, scummy, scum, scum cheater. And I'm ugly, so all the women don't even like me anymore! Ah! My life just came crashing down around me. Wait, she's freaking chased. Oh, screw this. Freaking heck. Wait, who's this woman? She's 59. You know what? I don't even care that she's old. I'm gonna invite her to court, and I'm gonna seduce her. 
Where'd she go? Oh, wait. What the? Is it because... What? Ah, no. Is it because I keep putting in spaces here? How do the spaces change anything? Why is it not sorting by intrigue anymore? Game? At least I murdered a caliph. I mean, that counts as something, right? I don't know. Stand down. All of you. I'm not paying for you. How did I get this much money? Did he have to pay me because I won the war? I think he did. I feel so dirty. I don't like cheating. It's not a fun way to play the game. But frankly, this hasn't been a fun way to play in the game either. Uh, search the realm. Screw it. Can I seduce you instead? Why can't I seduce? What happened to seductions? Why can't I do it anymore? Seduce you. I hope she's not like my half-sister or something. That can happen. Oh, look. A tiny little morsel. But I'm ugly. Who would want to do anything with me anymore? This is the price of being a Satanist. Sometimes Belial's like, hey, I'm just going to make you uh, disgusting now. A peculiar tradition. Local tax modifier. Super duper good. Sure, why not? Manfredo is an amateur plotter. He's worthless. Another son. It's mine. There's no rush. Is she far away? Did she not join my court? I didn't invite her. Hang on. Invite to court. There we go. Okay. What the heck? Who are you and you got... What did you get? The Bish Principe of Niche, I th think, just got like a sword or something? I didn't really read it. Alright, go home. We're gonna have to fight the Pope. Who is currently fighting against Rome. He wants to conquer Rome again. Well, that's fun, but I'm going to steal your freaking bones of St. Peter, dude. I don't care how long it takes me, we're going to do it. Of course, one downside is this game takes forever to load a game. So, it's going to take a while, but we'll try to get there eventually. Eventually. Oh my god. I hate you so much. I still have sons to ransom. Oh my god. He got my actual... God damn it! <laughs> Can't handle this. I can't handle it anymore. I am so sick of Crusader Kings 2. I like playing the Raider. Congratulations for the Duke of Tunis. I think he got married or something. I don't care. God. All right. Um, raise up some ships. It's burning. It was looted. Of course it was. Split. You guys get disbanded. You guys, it's too many ships, but whatever. Come down here, pick them up. <sighs> Not fun. Societies, have they added anything into the game that's really important? I mean, it, it made it kind of funny for a while. Summon a familiar. It was funny for a while getting to do all the Satanist actions, but ultimately I think all it does is just slow the game down. I have to keep pausing for all these events, but really with Crusader Kings 2, it's such a long game, you just want to keep charging through it. And this just slows it all down for not really a lot. A cat, a wolf, an owl, a raven. Uh, Cat, I guess, is fine. It doesn't matter. Nothing freaking matters, dude. Let's disband these. I'm going to declare a war against the Pope. I'm going to seize Orbitello. And Castile, France, and Hungary have no problem joining in on this. I'm not even going to call them in, though. I don't think it matters. It would be hilarious if I called in a holy order for this, but I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to call in Sicily since they've managed to deal with their crap. They actually have their uh, estate back in order. Raise up the local levy here and here. And then we're just going to go to Orbitello. I'm going to siege down the Pope. We're going to siege his top holding. And I'm going to reload as many times as it takes to get the freaking bones of St. Peter. I assume you can get them. And great. Now I've got somebody getting ready to get together mercenaries to go and attack me. Like an adventurer. Unbelievable. I need to kill this patrician. Do, are you landed? He's not landed. I think. Give you a title. We're going to kill you. Alright, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Let's kill the Pope. Um, Pope man, your troops are dead. 
the Siege and Orbitello. This has been a long time coming. Adventurer Threats. 22nd of September. I've got a couple years before it's going to be a problem. Troops together. And I will save just before this finishes, and I will save scum the crap out of it. And hopefully, 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 we find that we're able to steal the bones of St. Peter. I'd hate to find out that that's not physically possible. But okay. Alright, pause. I'm going to save, and I'll be back. Oh my god, I give up. It is not freaking possible, guys. I have been trying for over an hour and a half at this point. I've gone through well over a hundred reloads of the game, trying again and again. I have gotten every single artifact thus far. One time I even got two artifacts, but never the bones of St. Peter. So this tells me one of a couple of things. Either the odds of getting a positive you found an artifact event is very low, and then on top of that, the odds of which artifact you get are calculated based on quality. So the Bones of St. Peter being a quality 5 means your odds of getting it are probably like less than half of 1%. Okay, that's what it tells me. Or, the Bones of St. Peter being a special religious artifact are literally never obtainable ever. Those are my only options there. One of the two. And I can't keep doing this. I've tried for forever. So the Bones of St. Peter... Never gonna happen, apparently. And I'm incredibly angry about that. But at least I console myself knowing that this particular Pope is a cannibal, apparently. I only recently noticed that. It's a little bit ridiculous, but okay. Fine, I'm going to steal your two-handed lance, apparently. Not nearly as good as what I was hoping for. But there you go, that's what we get. I'm really angry about that. I thought for sure that we would be able to get the Bones of St. Peter if I just tried hard enough. I mean, that's why I tried for well over an hour and a half. But nope! Nope, nope, nobody, nope, nope, nope. It's just not going to happen, apparently. Oh, the freaking Pope doesn't want to surrender now, eh? I've sieged down everything, right? Yeah, okay. So we're just going to have to accept that we're going to take some land from the Pope, but I'm probably never going to get his uh, artifacts. I can't even, like, vassalize him, right, so that he has an heir. And then I assassinated him and inherit all of his stuff. Like, it's not even possible. The Pope is a unique character. Maybe. Maybe if I were in a position to set up, like, an anti-Pope in some way and he lost his lands and ceased being the Pope, then the bones of St. Peter would change hands, or they would just disappear into the nethers and you'd never see them again. It's one of the two, and I'm not freaking sure what it is. All I know is I'm really bummed because that's how I wanted to end the series. That was the entire freaking point. But apparently it is not going to be physically possible. Or I am just the most unlucky guy ever. Or the odds are so astronomically low to begin with, it's not even worth it. I even tried jumping into the save game file, looking for the Bones of St. Peter in the code, and I couldn't find it. It's somewhere in there, I'm fairly confident it fits in the inventory, but I couldn't figure it out. Because it's not called Bones of St. Peter. Oh, good grief, what are you doing now? Who? These guys? Fine. Kill them. Didn't you already try doing this, France, and it didn't work? Why are you doing this again? I don't know. I don't even know. Alright, we have 100%. Thank you, Pope Man. Screw you. Alright, we're done with that at least. Go ahead, go ahead and disband the retenue. And I guess. I want to kill you, can I? Wait a minute. Because the current Serene Doge apparently has died and left, I no longer have a truce with Pisa? I no longer have a truce with Pisa. Okay, let's go ahead and kill you. I'm going to seize. Can I seize my de jure claim of Madia? Madia. De jure claim Madia. If we succeed with this, Duke such-and-such, such, my half-brother, becomes the mayor's new liege. Yes, but do I get everything underneath? Because we tested this with Tunis previously, and for some reason, it didn't work. Not positive. Okay. I guess I'm going to go for this, and then what I'm going to try to do after that is murder the uh, Serene Doge and see if I can reset the truce timer to take over Cagliari, or Arborea, whatever. 
Freaking heck if I know. All right, send that claim. We are going to war again. Hi, I'm gonna kill your guys. Hi, hello, that dead man. Hello, what's this? All oh, right, we have the wrong type of holding domain stuff. Crap. Uh, city. I should hand this off to somebody. Why do I not own this city? Or sorry, this bishopric. Who does this belong to? Who are you? You apparently work for me. Wait, do I really... Was I really that low on my domain? I might have been. Uh, okay, it's probably fine. It's probably fine, right? Let's kill these peasant and troops. Something about a daughter. Don't care about the daughter. Oy vey. So what I'm going to do at this point, I think, is... The County of Constantine. Oh, that's nice. What I'm going to do at this point, I think, is start zooming forward. Because there's a couple things I want to do. I want to take over that freaking duchy. That was the entire thing I was going for before all this crap anyway. So I'm going to go for the duchy, maybe even the rest of Africa, I don't know. And take some of this land from Pisa. But I don't see a good reason to make you watch through all of this. So I'm just... Oh, gosh dang it, Hungary. So I'm just going to... Um, Zoom ahead and finish this story off uh, strong. I'm a little bit disappointed that I couldn't get the Bones of St. Peter, but I really think that it's probably coded into the game so that I'm not allowed to. Disappointing, but if that is the case, then there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. So I will see you guys in a little bit. We'll make sure that I'm able to actually take these, uh, this province from Pisa rather than just the city. Make sure that works. And then I will be back. Okay, I'm trying something different. I've loaded up a mod. We're going to see if I can steal the artifact from the Pope. The Bones of St. Peter. Who would be my accomplice? Uh, well, let's see. Right now I have pretty darn good intrigue. I'm listening a little bit of stewardship, but otherwise, eh? What's more important, intrigue? It's pretty brawny. My lover, a genius? She's pretty good. She's got a good stats across the board. Hang on, first let's make her like me more. There we go. Yeah, let's bring my lover along. Let's go and infiltrate the Pope and see if we can steal the bones of St. Peter. Since he's not, like, hiding them anymore in the event of a siege, maybe he's got it out for, like, the pilgrims to see or something. I don't know, but we'll see if we can swipe it. I know, we're getting really crazy with this last episode. Mods and what else? I mean, it's kind of nuts. Woo, hello. But if it freaking works, I'm willing to try anything. Uh, still trying to seduce some women and stuff. Eh, it's fine. Let's see. You are... Maybe loot suggestion? No. Okay, well. Keep going. I'm looking for the event chain, though. Here we go. Okay, you've arrived at the Pope's capital. As expected, it is heavily guarded. There is a group of guards at the main door. A servant's entrance at the back and window near the stables. We will sneak in. 85% chance of success. Please let this work. I'm really not in the mood to lose this. Oh, hi, King of Bohemia. Sure, why not? You've managed to evade most patrols until you come outside. The two board guards stand between you and your prize. 75% chance. 54, 80. Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep going as the 80% chance. Intrigue is still quite good. Probably should have gone for my Spy Master. Might have made it better. Uh, no, Byzantine revolts. I shall not get involved in this politics. You, I shall... Quote Love Poetry? There you go, that works. All right, uh, I'll hold on to her, I guess. Now that you have dealt with the guards, you're free to search the treasury for your target. Time is short and the treasury is filled with documents, jewels, and many miscellaneous items. 65% chance of successful due to my hide stewardship. Just start making a lot of noise, that seems terrible. Better stewardship for the same thing? Okay. Or 79% chance due to my learning skill. I guess we're gonna go for something unconventional. What does that mean? I don't know. Only the mod creator knows for sure. All right. Please tell me we got it. After making your escape, you finally feel relieved. You've managed to steal one fine artifact for your collection and your foe has no idea. We got the bones of St. Peter! Screw you, game! I'll mod the crap out of you to get what I want, by God! Bones of St. Peter! Quality five! Build cost, build time, monthly prestige, piety, stewardship, and every Catholic likes me, but none of the Catholics are suspicious as to why they've mysteriously disappeared from the Pope. No one freaking cares. Ah, Okay. Now that that's out of the way, I know it's... This, this is a stupid episode. We're cheating like crazy here. Mods, actual cheats, but freaking heck, we're gonna end this. I really wanted to end this series, and I wanted to end it on a bang, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna finish dealing with uh, Pisa... See if we can get this province. 
And then apparently we have to go and fight France's battles for them because they're doing a terrible job of putting down the Muslims. Oh. Well, that's fun. Well, the war with Pisa is done, and yes, we did actually get the entire province. So, we didn't... Oh, you know, I take that back. We did not actually get the bishopric or the barony. Those still belong to Pisa. Interesting. I'm not too sure why that is the case. Usually for a de jour claim, the owner of the province, whoever's in charge of the province, the count, or the duke in some cases, will transfer to serve you directly. In this case, the mayor did, and his two direct holdings transferred over, but these two did not. Interesting. I'm not especially sure why that's the case, but the important thing is that it's filled in with my color, and now we are going to plot to kill this guy, and I will find a freaking way. Maybe I can, like, give him a dark touch or something. Tainted touch? No, not, not quite yet. I did rank up in the society, though, so that's a thing. But, yeah, uh, maybe we can find a way to get him killed and then reset the truce timer. I'm not too sure, but okay, progress. Oh my God, I finally got it. Oh my God, okay. My confidence is a mountain, my charm irresistible, my exploits legendary. I am Ilif, temptation incarnate. I can now make myself into a master seducer or I can become a hedonist, which is actually still really good. It does give you intrigue, diplomacy, fertility, and such. It's just that the church doesn't like you too much for it. But Master Seducer, Permanent Intrigue, Diplomacy, Attraction, Opinion, and so on. Holy heck yes, we finally have become the Master Seducer that we always knew we could be. And I'm going to switch away to a different focus. Let's say, I don't know, maybe I can... I'm so close to being able to use my Magnum Opus again, if I could just get a little bit more, but... Now, we'll switch over to the business focus, <coughs> excuse me, throat closing up, finally got the lifestyle trait, and we were able to conquer a bit more lands from these guys, they did have some decadence issues, and changed rulers, which made it very easy to deal with the truce timers, so, but now we're threatening, and I'm not really able to go and do anything for a while, and I'm gonna have to say that this is going to be good enough for our playthrough as Genoa. Took over a fair chunk of Northern Africa. We did have to cheat our way in this last video due to the Jihad, unfortunately. So, if you'd want to say, hey, you don't really own all of Africa, that's fine. That's fair. I'm okay with that. This kind of last episode was really just a last hurrah anyway. Because I really wanted to be done with the series, and I felt like the game was trying to keep me in here as long as it could. And we had to install a mod, but we finally stole the bones of St. Peter. Right down here. Where did I get a ruby scepter and a golden sword? I have no idea where that came from. By the way, apparently I can equip a two-handed lance, a sword, and a scepter at the same time. I'm practically uh, an octopus or something, I don't know. But we did it, and we did rank up to a priest, if only I were... In fact, I'm actually in line to become... Can I plot to kill? I cannot plot to kill the current high priest. Darn! Well, that's a little unfortunate, but it is understandable. All right, guys. Well, that is where we are going to have to end this series. I know this last video has been a little bit weird, um, cheaty and all that. Apologize, but I wanted to end it with a little bit of fun. The entire point of the series was to have some fun with the secret societies, especially with Lucifer's own, and I think we were able to do that. First episodes in particular were a blast due to the shock factor, but... As time has gone on, I actually kind of feel like societies just slow down the game and don't really add a lot of value to it. So, still probably my, not my favorite expansion, but eh, at least you get some, uh, some awesome laughs out of it, right? That's still pretty good. Thank you all for watching. I do hope that you still found this episode to be entertaining. Uh, be sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy it. Leave a comment with what you are most looking forward to in the Jade Dragon expansion, what you think would be a good playthrough there just so I know what my options are. And of course, subscribe if you have not already. My name is Provis, and I will see you guys next time.